Okay, welcome back to my channel. Looking a lot scary. Um, I am getting ready to go to my son's uh, football practice. Well, not football practice. Today is freshman football game day. The video should be uploaded and make sure you go and watch it. A poor professional. That was the first thing I did in this area and on my nose. There's so much that I want to talk about. And so what I'm doing is I'm using the Locket Cream to just kind of hit spots that I feel like has some hyperpigmentation or just where I just want some extra concealment. Let's talk motivation. I am going to come back and I want to talk political. I want to talk um, some current events, you know, some things. Y'all and Mr. Uh, Pastor Wilson, y'all working my nerves. I, I haven't seen that video. I really don't want to see the video. Um, I feel like I've already seen the video by the time um, you guys are talking about it. And other people, I, I feel like I've already seen the video. But for today, we're gonna talk about motivation. So what I wanna know is, what keeps you motivated? First of all, what is it, do you recognize, you know, what is it that you should be motivated? What should you still be motivated in right now? Everybody don't have the same plight. You know what I'm saying? We all don't don't have the same life. <sighs> That's such an annoying spot. An area currently in my life that I would have to say, you know, that I have to make sure I stay motivated, like absolutely stay motivated, is with my weight loss. For those of you that don't know me personally, um, growing up, I didn't have a weight problem. Um, in my 20s, I didn't have a weight problem. In my 30s, I didn't really have a weight problem. Besides the normal, you just had a baby gain weight. Right now, this is probably coming it because it's oh, camera is looking really, really bright. And one thing you have to know about the Fenty Beauty is that it goes on really, 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 really light, and then it, when it as it dries, it settles, and then it kind of settles into your skin. So don't be alarmed and thinking, oh my goodness, this child don't know her her number. I do know my number, but. Let me turn you off because this is not the brush that I normally use for my foundation and it's working my nerves, so. Okay, I am back. What happened was I gained all this weight or whatever. I hate the way it's translating on the camera, but I'm not gonna freak out because um, my color is looking all kind of off. But I'm not gonna freak out, I'm, just, I'm not. Somebody say, come back, Missy, come back, come back. Don't freak out. And honestly, this is just what I do. It's a regular smangler, regular mom that likes to play in makeup and do makeup. No offense to anyone that is overweight. No offense to anyone that likes the fact that they're overweight. But for me, I'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer. And to be perfectly honest with you, I have no rhyme or reason other than the fact that I feel like I need to put it on because of the way I am translating on this camera. It's pretty concealed. This side isn't. And um, don't leave a comment talking about, oh, she used so much makeup. It's just my thing. You ever had a, your thing? Your thing, whatever your thing is. You know, it could be your knuckles. It could be your dry knees. I don't know. Whatever. For me, I'd be like, girl, your knees look fine. You, you be like, uh -uh, my knees look horrible. Don't at me. A year ago, after gaining weight, I decided, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. In my family, diabetes... The next thing I'm putting on, so this is the Locket Cream, and I'm just leaving it alone. The brown setting powder. Um, so in my family, I am susceptible to. Now, I'm not claiming anything, but you got to be wise. I just decided, listen, fat girl, and again, no offense to anyone. Love you. Love where you at. Be who you, but I wasn't satisfied, and I'm not satisfied. And and I'ma just let this sit as I start my eyes. You're obese, like, and that's all I needed to hear. It, I don't want to leave this earth because of food. Fast forward to a year later, and I started, and I said, you know what? My biggest thing that I always wanted, the thing that I miss, the thing that I love, is my popcorn, and that's where it started. I said, okay, let me get a popcorn now. From July to to this week or whatever, have I just been completely off the rails? Some days, yeah, but I never like left. Like I never just stopped and we just gained all this weight. I actually still fit my same clothes. I'm still a size 12. I'm looking for my. Thing. I'm still a size 12. I can still fit my same clothes. But that's the trick, you know, where you think, oh, but again. 
I've worked so hard, that gaining weight will sneak up on you. And so I had to remind myself, hey, listen. And so this is, let's go back to the original conversation. What motivates you? That's what motivated, you know, part of what motivates me to keep going. Like, hey, first of all, you work too dang hard. Too hard. Okay, so I am in my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to go and set the foundation with Ginger. You work too hard to be around here, to be around here acting like you have no discipline. I did not have cake in a year. I did not have ice cream in a year. And honestly, I didn't want it. And I still don't want it. I still don't want it. You know, my motivation was, number one, ultimately, myself. So that goes to the first part that we're talking about today. Myself. I had to motivate myself. And if you are a yo-yo dieter, one thing that I've heard from people, because I never really was a yo-yo dieter, one thing that I hear from a lot of people is they had to do it for themselves. Ultimately, when they decided that they were enough was enough, it was for themselves. It wasn't for a husband. It wasn't for, you know, whatever. Whatever. When it ultimately worked, it was because they did it for themselves. So this is Coco. I'm sorry, what am I talking about? This is Ginger. And so, let's mix that in. So again, this is gonna be the quickest beat ever because I got a game to get to. And child, I find it very important to be in my kids' things. So anyway, I did it for myself. And so what did I do? The next one that I'm gonna go through is, let's go to Supreme. Supreme is gonna be a cute little pink situation. And again, I'm just playing because I absolutely love this palette. Oh boy, I love this palette. And this palette kinda of motivates me to want to do colors and play around. So that's what I did. I just did a, gave you a little Supreme. In asking you, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you motivated on that job? What keeps you motivated on your exercise journey, on your gain weight journey? on your bettering to stop lying journey, bettering to stop stealing, you know, that whole thing. Whatever it is that you need motivation for, what keeps you going to not do that? For me, the first one was myself. The second thing that absolutely motivates me is, I said it already, my kids. My kids motivate, what's next? Let's do the brown bone because um, I think I'm gonna use Zam because I like Zam. My kids are very important to me, as I'm sure your children are. And I'm gonna sit up here and act like I got <laughs> some, I hate when people do that, act like I got some super different relationship with my kids than you do. And oh, you just don't understand. It's another video. I mean, you and your relationship with your kids ain't no different than yours and mine. But anyway, my kids. My daughters, especially, I have three girls, and especially my daughters, they are like my cheering section. And so I'm just blending that in. And so now I'm gonna go in with Big Wig, and I'm just gonna do a little uh, smoky right there. And then we're done with the eyes. So, because I feel like I don't see pinker, I'm gonna add a little more right here. I want to be around my kids, kids, kids. I want to be around healthy, not just around. I want to be healthy. I really don't do lashes. I do fiber lashes, and I'm going to show you what those are. Let me do an eyeliner real quick. So I feel like I, I look like a ghost at this point. So this is my Marc Jacobs eyeliner. And then last and definitely not, 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 not least is my fate. I had this conversation with my children all the time. You know, I'm not concerned about anything other than if my children are living their, their best life. My main concern is, is that I'm raising decent human beings. And part of that raising decent human beings, my faith comes into play. I don't feel like I should take or can take the credit for raising the children that I raise. My faith is what, um, our faith is what, and so what is this? This is the Better Than Sex um, 
mascara. And so what I go, I do is I go in, do a coat on my lashes, and quite frankly, some days that is enough. That is enough, and I just call it a day. However, for the purpose of this video, because I keep talking about these fiber lashes that I do, I take the unique fiber lashes, unique fiber lashes, and it comes like this. And what you do is you put it on there. See that? Because other than that, Miss B don't have no lashes. You see the difference? Now again, I don't sell unique. I sell paparazzi. Now I was gonna, I was thinking about it. But you can see the difference already. And I do that. Let them sit for a little bit. Then I go back. Now, now the fiber lashes come with their own mascara, but I don't like it. I like the better than sex one. Because what's better than sex? Oh my God. If my mother's watching. I'm the biggest... Oh my gosh, not in front of my mother person ever. So my don't, don't pay that no attention. Kids, my children, you didn't hear that. So I go in with that, um, with that, with the fiber lashes and I let that dry. So I have my eyeliner on. Again, I am the type where I kind of like my eyebrows the way they are. So I don't mess with them too much. They, you know, I haven't had any eyebrow mishaps um, <laughs> lately, but I feel like I'm missing a little pop on my brow bone. And again, it could just be the lighting. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, it's fine. It's just me. So, whew, okay. I got the brush that I was looking for. This is my MAC 116 brush. Um, I love this brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Mocha Mommy bronzer and I'm gonna go through and just kind of give myself a little situation right here but anyway but that's what motivates me myself first of all that brow bothering me because I feel like it's not serving and again if you want to know about Zam then you gotta watch the video I have to go I just talked to my daughter and I'm like what time is it and she's like it's Five that when I ran and got the, got the brush, I don't have any piece of earring on. Um, oh, a lippy lippy. I'm gonna put this one on. Comment down below if you if if the subject of motivation has been on your heart. If it's something that you need, I'm that person. I'm that friend that will motivate somebody till the end. And I just encourage you, if it's for good, now I'm not motivating you to do anything bad. I'm not motivating you to do anything illegal, but if it's something that you know is gonna better you and make you a better person and add to society, just do it. Just do it. It's not gonna feel good in the beginning. It's not gonna feel good. It may never feel good. It may never feel good. But at the end of the day, you're doing something for you to better you. And so we have to stay motivated when we have these goals. Let me, um. Spray some sand and spray. What do you know you need need to do? If you want to inbox me on Facebook, those of you that are my Facebook friends, say, hey, Melissa, if you're a praying person, pray for me. If you're a person that wants positive energy, I can send that too. Whatever you need, I can send that. Whatever you need. That was MAC setting spray. Um, <laughs> Be perfectly honest with you, I have my Tasha setting spray, but I like to use my MAC. It's a lot cheaper than my Tasha, so when I'm going to games or different things like that, I'll use my cheaper one. There's no other reason why. <laughs> I, I wish I could tell you there was another reason why, why I use one against the other. There's no other reason why. Um, it's just cheaper, and I just feel like I don't want to waste it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to be motivated to be better, and I'm here to tell you, no situation is hopeless. No situation is beyond God's reach. And and again, that's where I say my faith comes in. I can't tell you anything else about anything else. I just know that there's a higher power working on my behalf and, 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 and just cheering me on. So with that being said, I hope you have a great day. Keep whatever your goals are at the forefront. And it's not selfish of you to say, you know what? I'm doing this for me and I'm gonna stay focused for me. Stay motivated for you. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.